Without a breakthrough in Washington, the government will shut down tomorrow night. Most lawmakers want to pass a short-term spending plan, but with the national debt now topping $33 trillion, some Republicans want even lower spending limits. Border security funding and money for Ukraine also factor into this budget battle. And we want to know how a shutdown would, what it would do to health care at our local VA facility. And we found out that there would be furloughs at the VA, but medical care is not expected to be impacted if there is a shutdown. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Mito in our Tampa newsroom tonight with more on that. Walt. Keith and Stacy, we went to our congressional delegation for answers about the potential shutdown. Some services from the VA will stop, but we're told patients should not notice a difference. Still, there are concerns. Bay Area VA facilities help tens of thousands of veterans who depend on the government for health care they earned when they served. We have two VA networks in the Bay Area. Can they truly be prepared for something like this? Veterans health care will continue. The benefits will continue. We reviewed the VA shutdown contingency plan that indicates it will take about three days to implement. The plan says out of the agency's nearly 457,000 employees, 3%, just under 16,000, will be furloughed because the agency is funded in advance. Representative Castor is concerned about outreach programs that help veterans. They will not be on the job, most likely. And in a community like ours that is rich with veterans and uh, heroes, that, that's not acceptable. That's wrong. A spokesman for Bay Pines VA tells us the key is the advanced funding that will keep 97% of the VA staff on the job even during a shutdown. Rob Frazier tells me as a result, veteran medical care and services will continue without interruption. Republican Congressman Gus Bilirak has told us in a statement he is committed to finding common ground to avert a shutdown, but if it happens, he says, my constituents can rest assured that the most critical government services such as the processing of Social Security, Medicare, and VA benefits will not be interrupted or delayed. Veterans advocacy groups are relieved health care is a priority, but concerned Veterans for America is concerned about the politics that will be in play if there is a shutdown. Our concern and our hope is that they don't try to use veterans as pawns in this issue. And we hope that in the future that they'll give more veterans more choice. That choice will ensure that veterans don't fall into this window. During previous shutdowns, benefit payments were delayed at times, but the VA started receiving those advanced funding for those programs in 2017, so that shouldn't be a problem this time. But does the VA say what will be or may be interrupted by these furloughed employees? Yeah, Keith, there's a whole list. The suspended services include the education call center for the GI Bill questions. Also, the Office of Accountability and Whistleblower Protection will not be open if there's a shutdown. We put a copy of the VA contingency plan on WFLA.com so you can review the full list there. All right, Walt Buteau, live in our Tampa newsroom. Thank you, Walt. Okay.